Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the review of the Pokey FPV, FPV style. Uh, this is a very interesting uh, gadget. Uh, it combines actually two things in one. It's an OTG USB uh, receiver which uh, works on the 5.8 uh, GHz band. So it's an analog FPV receiver. And it's also a kind of uh, Google Cardboard. So you can uh, have a kind of a virtual reality from uh, your uh, drone uh, directly. So uh, let's see what we get in the box and I'm going to show you how it works. So this is uh, as a manual that is included with it. It comes packed in uh, the cardboard glasses that you can later mount. And you get some accessories inside. Right, so that's all. You get uh, this uh, USB Type-C to micro USB cable and another micro USB to micro USB because this is OTG. You can use it directly to your tablet or phone uh, and uh, it's nice uh, that it comes with two cables because there are various devices with various uh, uh, connectors. So this is the receiver. Uh, very small, compact, you can see. and it has a hidden button here where you are going to push this and uh, that will be the search channel button. Of course it also comes with an antenna and uh, here is the micro USB port which is going to connect to my USB type C connector which will go to my tablet. So let's see how this thing works. Uh, I have uh, already pre-installed the app, it's called Pokey FPV, but there are various apps, multiple apps actually, so you can uh, try more of them. And they all have a function for DVR, which is very nice, so you can use this as a DVR also. So you can see camera uh, FI, FPV Droid, Pocket FPV, Pokey FPV, so plenty of apps that work with it so I'm going to open one of them and I'm going to connect a battery to my quadcopter here this quadcopter but first I'm going to also open the transmitter and I'm going to insert the battery power it on all right so I'm going to let it sit I'm going to confirm here, press on OK. And on the uh, transmitter here, I have image, it's OK. On uh, this monitor here, oh, sorry about that, it has become disconnected from the tablet. As you can see, it's only static, nothing less, nothing more. But if I'm going to press this button and keep it pressed for a few seconds, get this FPV style and it's starting to scan all channel and this thing has uh, 150 channels and it automatically chooses uh, the one with the best signal of course you can manually uh, search and uh, choose your channel but you can see it has a spectrum graphic here I hope that you can see because this screen is uh, uh, really uh, glary and it has found 100% finish the scan and it has found the best matching signal and of course now I have image uh, from uh, my drone on the tablet and you simply have here a button to record press record and you are now recording from uh, uh, this receiver also and uh, it's not only used as an FPV monitor but you can also use it as a DVR, which is very useful because you don't have to invest in another second receiver, FPV monitor or um, another DVR. So just uh, let's call it an all-in-one device because probably you already have a tablet or a, or a mobile phone. Uh, what must be known about this device is the fact that it's not uh, recommended for racing drones because this has a approximate lag of 100 uh, milliseconds. So if you are racing, this is not for you because it will have lag. 
uh, but if you are a more casual flyer using drones such as a let's call it box 3 or something like that or larger aerial uh, platforms those are pretty slow uh, and you won't notice that lag so uh, they should be fine with that moving on to the headset this is rather simple you just assemble it it comes with all the things included and it also has lens protectors here so they do not scratch during travel which is good thinking of uh, the producer last uh, but not least uh, you may have observed this uh, mesh uh, metal mesh here which has a continuity with this pad here this actually touches the tablet uh, screen there where it's the record button so you can uh, change you can start to record or stop recording uh, um, the video uh, without taking uh, the phone out of this of course I cannot fit the tablet in it and uh, um, it will work with mobile phones so this is a 5.5 inch screen phone so uh, this one fits just fine inside you just need to enable that uh, uh, 3d view and you will also get a kind of uh, simulated uh, 3d reality which makes this uh, even more interesting to at least test once with your drones to have fun but uh, I won't be using uh, it for that I'm mainly using it for a, as a display screen for my lesser drones or uh, use it as a, a recording device to get uh, the VR footage so this is the Poki FPV uh, I also need to mention that there are uh, a lot of uh, type of uh, this kind of devices on the market but some of them uh, have uh, big issues because they are not uh, compatible with um, a lot of tablets uh, this device because it uses an OTG driver must be recognized by your mobile phone or uh, your tablet and it also needs to have a matching uh, CPU uh, it, uh, it, it, there are some devices that work for example with Samsung Exynos CPUs uh, some of them don't work uh, there are uh, uh, MediaTek processors and so on uh, I've tested this uh, device with several tablets and phone and it, all, it works with all of them with cheap Chinese uh, phones that use MediaTek processors but it also works on uh, Samsung devices on some of the Samsung devices uh, not on all of them because some uh, Samsung devices don't have OTG enabled so it won't uh, recognize it as a device but uh, this exact model which I'm going to include a link for it in the video description works with most of them and it also has 150 channels which is a huge number of uh, possibilities so it will work with uh, almost all transmitters, video transmitters on uh, this uh, band so this was uh, its uh, let's call it quick overview you are going to see this in uh, a lot of my videos and where I have DVR footage it's mostly from uh, this device that's why I have decided to make a short review for it so this was it I hope that you have enjoyed it and until next time bye bye